welcome to our lovely new Timbervati camp. My name is Kate, I'm an instructor here at Eco Training. Please join along for our interactive field observation test. Let's see how you do. We already have our question number one. Do we see this bird flitting around these lovely blooming aloe plants that we have here in our Timbervati camp? Can you see this decurved beak, this very, very long decurved bill? that's probing into these aloes. It's scooping up all of that delicious sugary nectar and it's very characteristic of this bird to be doing this. Question number two, we've just come across some scat and we're wondering who produced it. Now there's a few things that we might use to help figure it out. Number one is gonna be size. This is quite a lot of scat and you can see that it's quite large in terms of its not only the amount but also uh, the general size and shape of it. We can automatically tell then it's from one of our big carnivores which is why I'm not going to pick it up. Uh, there's a lot of uh, parasites and diseases and pathogens that are, that are left over in this dung and it's not something I necessarily want on my hands. You can see that there are these cylindrical almost sausage-like shapes which is character, very characteristic of one of our very beloved carnivores that we get here in the African bush. It's not relatively fresh. You can see that it's got this hard outer covering, but it's still pretty dark. It's got this lovely dark color as a result of all the protein that this animal is eating. Look really, really close and you start breaking it apart, you can see some hair in this scat as well. And this is from the animal taking off some of the hair when it's feeding and from grooming as well. So can you tell me what animal produced this scat? Okay folks, I'm standing here by question number three. If you have a look behind me here, you can see a hole that's been dug into the ground. Question number three is, who made that hole? If we take a little bit of a closer look at this burrow, we can see that sand has been kicked out and it's been excavated pretty well. There are some spider webs, but it looks that, like this sand has been moved relatively recently. So that's a kind of a key giveaway that this burrow is active. So burrows like this are generally not just used by one animal. Sometimes they're excavated by one and then another animal moves in. So for a burrow like this, warthogs absolutely love them. Sometimes hyenas will come through and they'll make them even bigger. It's why we need to be careful when we approach them because we don't necessarily know what's underneath. Now this is what we call is a form of commensalism, which means that one animal benefits and another isn't impacted. Now the size and general impression of this burrow, along with this sand being pushed vertically up, is all gearing us towards a specific animal. Question number four, what animal is moving away from us just here? So you can see this lovely gray coat with some white stripes. General size as well, they are on the larger side for our ungulates that we get here in the low felt. These are females, they don't have horns. And all of that information put together should get you to the answer. Question number five. What mammal is jumping around in this tree? This is one of the smallest members of this order and it's very common to see at this time of day. What it's looking for is the gum in the tree. Check those sharp claws. It's digging into this bark in order to get the super sucrose and glucose heavy gum from inside that tree. So if you guessed that this was a white-bellied sunbird, you are correct. And if you said it was a male, bonus points. So if you guessed that this was a scat of a lion, congratulations, you were 100% correct. So if you put the answer as an aardvark burrow, well done, you are correct. If you guessed that these are female kudus, then well done, you are 100% correct. So if you guessed this was the southern lesser bush baby, you are correct. And if you said the order was primates, congratulations, you've got bonus points. Okay, folks, so that wraps up our interactive field observation test. I'm sure you did absolutely great. If you'd like to see more of this content, please like and subscribe below.